Hey guys, my name is Mark and you may drive a hybrid, but do you play a hybrid? I will show you my top three hybrids right now. Let's go. So as I said already, this is a little top three video about my top three hybrids. Um, this is focused on the non German EU market, not for the US market, because on the US markets there are way more options. For example, very, very good leaflet gaming pads, which I will handle in another specified review about all four lethal gaming pads, which are really awesome, but I will not include them in this top three, because basically getting them to Germany or to the European Union is kind of hard. Also, you need to pre-order them right now in Texas and sending in total will have a long time and will charge a lot of money for these very good pads. So keep this in mind and uh, bear with me. Uh, we just starting right now. This is, by the way, my English channel. It's The Whale ENG and I also have a German channel. Um, if you're watching this and you're German, the same review is already available on the German channel. You can watch it there if you want to see it in German. So let's start. We kick right off with these um, Odin Infinity Stealth. Um, basically on Max Gaming it's available for $33.19 um, and they charge shipping of 7 euro to Germany. Um, it takes like 4 business days and then you're around 40 euros. For a 50 by 50 hybrid pad with a thickness of 4 millimeters. I already reviewed it in the main review and I also did an upfront or the really first review on the really first edition when it came out and I bo bought both in the States and it was kind of expensive for me to get the stealth over here because in the first point um, it was rumored or um, Odin said that the stealth edition of the 50 by 50 is only available in the States and you only can buy it there in the shop directly and somehow some later it also was available on Max Gaming so you can get it the 50 by 50 version it has a stealth black logo of Odin Gaming on the down right side. Um, basically that's why it's called Stealth and because it's 50 by 50 by 3 and it's kind of one of the most sold hybrid pets or for long term the most sold hybrid pet version on Max Gaming um, for like months. Um, why? Because um, basically there were no real hybrid pets who were able to compete, who were available in Europe or Germany or on Max Gaming and uh, basically the way they did the surface was very very good, um, was a very high standard surface with a very good polyester um, coating, the fabric they made and the um, structure itself was very good and was very enjoyable to play tech FPS like Valorant and also Apex with it so they were a fairly um, yeah, feeling about how it could be the better Hien for some people because the price was way better. Some people called it a Hien clone. For me, it never was a Hien clone, to be honest, because um, it felt way better for me. I never liked the Artisan Hien pets. And I really enjoyed the Odin pet um, up front and I played it for a long term. And um, I came from a dash, I think. I played a dash before or after. I, I played a dash before. And I really enjoyed to go over because uh, it has a little bit more roughness. The control level was a little bit higher here on the Infinity and the roughness was still not too rough. Um, for now, I would say um, Odin Gaming needs to update the Infinity or in general the Infinity pet very soon. Um, the, comp uh, the competition basically uh, already is updating the edges right now. Odin is still doing this um, yeah, a little broad more broad edges and uh, the stitching here is um yeah you can you can clearly feel the stitching it goes a little bit up it's not soft enough it's too broad um i think they need to to level up when we for example see um lethal gear pets all of them they have insane edge stitching <laughs> just to conclude something also um another pet i will show you later here has way better stitching but for now for 40 euro for 50 by 50 pad with 3 millimeter thickness. This is a good choice. That's my play three. Um, a very valuable pad if it's available or you want to test it. You can do this. Um, I think it's worth 
to test it. So we go over to the next pad. Basically, it's a classic for most of you. Um, and if you are a viewer on this channel, you already know this pad. Let me check. It's basically the Aqua Control 2. It's the after or next step of the Aqua Control Plus. Um, X-ray pad at one point decided to make a new name structure because people were getting confused by Aqua Control Plus with in total, I think at the end was eight different coatings or not, it wasn't really coatings, eight different feelings on the pad, how the roughness, smoothness and speed was. And there was some very rough, some very snopy, some very smooth pads. There was black fly, white fly, blue fly, only white, only black, then black heart, which got the AC2 later. Yeah, okay. So now I have the Aqua Control 2 Sakura edition here in 50 by 50 centimeters by four millimeter. That's not what I wanted to show you right now, but basically, yeah, that's, that's the pad. And if you select it here, it's seven, uh, 27 US dollar. Um, one thing I can tell you here is that this, or it wanted to be, or it should be a limited edition, but um, right now they're planning to release it in two different blues, this color and a black color tone. And I think it's a good idea um, to just freshen up the designs on X-ray pad, not only those, those geometrical stuff, you know, um, kind of cool. Um, this pet is very nice. Uh, I played a lot of these Aqua Control. Basically, I had every Aqua Control Plus version. I also tested all Aqua Control 2 versions. This one compared to an all black version is a little bit smoother, a little bit softer. Um, some people were complaining that um, it changes the surface and the speed after some time, but, that, but that's totally normal. Most pets are, have like a point where they break in. Even if it's a cloth pad or an, an hybrid pad or whatever pad, mostly after one or two weeks of usage, um, it comes to a point where it will or will not change for the next like months. But the final, yeah, that's the final point it reaches is um, different for many people, depending on which mouse you play, how you play, how long you play a day. So basically, keep in mind if you play this on your first day, it will feel different to uh, day 14, I'm pretty sure. And I think latest after day 14, it will have the final initial and static friction. Um, for now, for what I felt right now, I can tell you it's very good. It's not that rough. It's kind of, it's a little bit smoother than a black AC2. It feels very good. The softness is very enjoyable. Four millimeters are comfortable for your hand and for your wrist. Um, one thing which distracts me a little bit or what I not really able to understand in all his greatness as these, um, the edge stitching again. It still looks like the old one, but I know they also have a way better new one. So it's a little bit loose, a little bit broad. And um, yeah, but for the end pricing, if you ship it to Germany, the end, the end price is like um, 45 US dollar, which is roughly two euro less than the price for the Odin Infinity, but you get a pet which has a design and you get a four millimeter version. I can tell you normally four millimeter pads are raising the price by 15 to 30% just in production. So keep in mind, if you want to have a four millimeter pad, which has awesome micro control feeling, which has awesome tracking feeling and which still have a very good step and stop point. So in friction, in terms of friction, it's very, very balanced in my opinion. You can go with the Aqua Control 2 from x Pad. Have fun, guys. And last but not least, there's one pad I was really hyped, or I was, nah, I wasn't hyped. I was like, yeah, it was like, wow. It was like, I got this pad, they, they sent me the box from Razer, and I was like, woo, what the fuck is this pad? It's like Razer's try to do a Hien killer at Colts. It's called Strider. Strider right now you can get for 55 euro in the XXL version. It's basically 90 by 40. It's a little bit more than 90 and a little bit more by 40, but it's only three millimeter thick. It's by far the roughest hybrid pet you can get. So it mostly, or it's a pet which mostly gives you a feeling of a real polycarbonate hard pet. So the initial friction and the glide overall mostly 
are comparable with real hard plastic pads with a rough structure and it's really rough and it's also the one the, with the roughest feeling which basically made also the biggest noise so the loudest noise for me but it's very very good made the structure is very good you have extreme good micro feeling micro control is very good x and epsilon axis are not too distracting um, they have one of the best or most enjoyable maybe not the best but most enjoyable edge stitchings uh, in the market it's very flat it's a little broad but very flat and it will never just distract your arm or it will never give you or you will never really feel it but keep in mind that this roughness can maybe make some um, yeah maybe harm your skin for example or will uh, increase the down usage of your glides if you have very smooth very soft glides for example um, also um, Razer besides the very good stitching and the unique um, hybrid um, polyester they used which is very rough they made a very custom very unique um, backside it looks like an artisan pad but it isn't and it's also different for me um, though the, hard, the pad is very hard and very stiff comparable with a, a mid-class artisan pad I would say this back is, um, gives a better hold, a better grip feeling on my very slippery Ikea desk which um, is way 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 too slippy in my opinion and for most of you viewers who are uh, here for a long term you guys already know this um, it gives very good grip so there's nothing um, you can do wrong and mostly you can also get it on Amazon um, you don't need to buy it at the razor store right now you can get it for 6 euro at Amazon and it's a premium pet it's a premium level um, and you if you don't like it or disagree or you have some problems just send it back to Amazon no problem it's razor guys believe me they make a lot of money and they can they can handle it if you send it back because you don't like it you know so that was my top three of the hybrid pets of pets which are basically made for people who enjoyed plastic polycarbonate pets back in the days but who still want to have this feeling on a cloth pet or on a, on a more comfortable uh, three to four millimeter rubber based pet that's my top three and most people asking or who are here for a longer time asking right now Where's Valhaut? Um, besides, it's not here. At the day we are doing this video and we're still waiting because um, it's in China. I will tell you now some, one, or one thing, one crucial, one main thing for me. Um, I will never build it in, in some top videos, top five, top threes or whatever, or tier lists or, or whatever. Because um, it's my channel. It, the channel is called The Way. It's my product. I will sell the product myself and I'm able to open it for other people to sell it also if I can or if there are really interest in it or there's a real interest in it I mean but I think it's um, not good or it's like yeah I just don't want to put my own pet always on top and to get it into every video like yeah but I have Val out here and it's way better than this pet ah, that's not my style you know guys, I will do one video when it's here, I will make a brief comparison to the um, whole competition, to everyone who's really in range to May strike back. Uh, and that's the only point, and I will not say this pet is versa than mine cause of this. You I will just show pictures, I will just show them, and I will just say what I've done on Balhaut, and then you can make your own picture for yourself. There's, there will be no real top three where I will put say yeah they are all good but Valhout is still the best this will not happen guys cause that's not who I am and how I act and how I want um, you to show products cause I basically I'm basically here to not entertain yeah sure also entertain you but I mainly want to educate you I just want to give you sure my opinions and what I know and all my feelings and whatever but I also want that you at the end of the day after some weeks or months or whatever be able to understand more by yourself and also read pets understand 
mouse, you know, I want to give you this little more than that's the best pet, buy it, use my code and show you a tattoo on a, or a, a printing on the ass of a girl so you use my code for 10% off. That's not my style. I just want to give you the little edge to be able to make your own very good picture which is very detailed and based on pure knowledge. So guys, that's it. The video is over. Um, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments below. Um, if there will be any updates on Valhout, I post it on Twitter or I directly upload the video on YouTube on the same day. Um, thanks for being here and see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.